Alrighty, boys and girls, good morning. It is uh, 6.30 in the morning. I know I'm getting a late start. What's up with that crap? Me, oh, Tom, don't start her first thing in the morning, okay? Come on, I already know how to get out of the parking lot, for God's sakes. No need to tell me how to get out of the parking lot. Alrighty, yeah, okay, so what the heck was I saying? Yeah, so we slept in, we're getting a late start. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna freaking stop. Holy jumping Jehoshaphatters. First thing in the morning, people don't freaking look what they're doing. I love idiots like that. Let's just drive out of our parking space and not bother to look in either direction. You know, because God forbid there should be something coming. That's it. Start me off on a rent. First thing in the freaking morning. Way to go, Dumbo. Yes, sir, Bob. It's break time. First break of the day. I won't even say it. I know, I know, I know. Okay, so I've removed my microphone. Apparently, and that's the downside of the week. The video is being a week behind. Apparently, a lot of you don't like the new mic. It's too noise canceling and it makes it hard to hear. So, we're just going to run the GoPro without a mic. And I'm sorry if it sounds a little tinny, but, you know, I want you guys to be able to hear me too, you know. So, we're just stopping here at the Texas uh, Welcome Center. For a quick snack break, get our snackies together. Morning snacks. Etc, etc, etc. Yes, sir. Oh. Alrighty, boys and girls. Uh, time to get off to 75 here. And just cut over quickly to the 35. I'm going to go by the downtown of Dallas. Yes, sir. That's the downtown of Dallas. Right there in front of you. Yes, sir, it is. I promise I wouldn't lie. It's always interesting coming down here, the architecture on some of these buildings. I still don't get the rounded apartments, though. Like on each end, it's round. What's up with that building? I guess it would be kind of cool. Maybe it's the living room. Yeah, it's probably the living room portion of the apartment. But still. Donald! building on the right. I uh, couldn't even quite read the sign on it. I'm guessing it's a museum of some sort, I'm sure. I'm sure someone from this area will tell me. Nothing like a Hooters right downtown. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we're going to be getting to 35E Waco, Texas. That's where we're heading to. Well, we're going to end up going through there. We're not going to go to Waco, Texas, but we're going to go through Waco, Texas on our way to Laredo. Ooh. Again, guys, see the signs? Extra orange and yellow signs means slow down a little bit more. It's another one of these uh, curves that uh, sneaks up on you. Well, it doesn't sneak up on you. I mean, you see it coming but it can be misjudged very easily if you're not paying attention. So you really need to pay attention. Anywho, oh, there's downtown again. Yep, except we're on the other side now. That was quick. Alrighty, ladies and gents, we'll talk to you in the next clip. Yes, sir, it is that time of day. 
my favorite time of day. Lunchtime slash nap time. Thinking we're going to be doing a little power snooze today for sure. That is my feeling. Ooh, oh, bumpity bump, bump, bump. It went bump in the night. Ooh, gotta watch that yellow post coming in. Not in exactly the best of places. So, we are gonna scoot back here. swing around because I don't want to be facing the sun. Oh, actually, I want to try to get close to the building because I want to, uh, what you doing there, buddy? I want the sun facing at me, so oh, we're going to pull right up through here. There we go. Now I can be close to the building because I need to get on the internet. So, ooh, I don't want to hit that garbage can. Oh, that was close. Oh, you couldn't fit a bird's feather in there. <laughs> and it didn't even wobble. Cool. Oh, well, we're crooked. Who cares? Yeah, that's what we got left to do to get to our destination of Laredo. We are currently in Robinson, Texas. Okay. See all these little brown flecky things on my floor? In the corner of my bed. In here. And I already cleaned up most of it that's here, even though I can't really see it in the camera. But it would appear that if someone who finishes making his coffee in the morning should make sure he has tightened the lid of his coffee jar. Because then it sometimes tips over and ends up all over the frickin' place. <sighs> now I gotta clean. Alrighty, nap time, lunch time is over. And late in the afternoon, 2.33. So, I don't think I'm gonna make it all the way to Laredo because it's uh, five hours, 18 minutes. I got five and a half hours time left on my driving time problem is, is getting there not a problem the problem would be getting through trailer inspection and then having to drop it in uh, yard four which would end up putting me over my time just even trailer inspection alone would end up screwing me up so we're going to stop before we get to Laredo and do the last little bit in the morning I just haven't quite figured out where Okay, here we are, arriving at the TA in New Braunfels, Texas. And now we have to find ourselves a parking spot. This could be interesting. I see some over there, but the truck is angled incorrectly. There's all kinds of parking here. Well, I don't think parking will be an issue. This box as good as any. Oh, let's park over here. No, I'd rather park over here. Less obstructions. Easier. And I'm being, feeling lazy. Third, oh, there's a grassy spot over on that one. Let's go there. I like that better. I know, I'm being confusing, aren't I? but I don't really care. I like this spot way better than the other one. Why? 
why? Just because I do. I have my reasons. Ugh. There's all kinds of parking on the back road too. But this is where I want to go. This is where I've decided I want to go. This is where I'm gonna go. always said guys you can the easiest parking is always the best parking why because less chance of you hitting something this is why I always try to tell you guys not to drive too late because then parking becomes harder and harder and harder and harder we're gonna have to draw our curtains hey look at that snug like a glove Hey, well, it says it's currently 68 Fahrenheit. Feels like 75. That's Gruen, though. It doesn't say New Brunfels. Because we are in New Brunfels. Let's see what the uh, celsius meter says. Oops, wrong one. Uh, will it, uh, it doesn't want to come up, but it says New Brunfels. Oh, it's 20 Celsius. So that's pretty warm. Let's see if the truck will stay running. For it's that. supposed to stay supposed running, but we'll find out. All right, so yeah, we'll talk to you in the back.